Well, this is your devotional for April 20th. So glad you're joining us and just taking a couple of minutes to listen to God's Word and let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart about wisdom. Today we're looking at uh, James chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Remember, it's just talked about you know, harboring envy of others and selfish ambition for ourselves. And then in verse 15, he continues, Such wisdom, this self-centered wisdom, such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly unspiritual, demonic. We'll come back to that because that's pretty heavy stuff. That kind of wisdom is earthly, it's unspiritual, it's demonic. And then verse 16. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. Lord, speak to us right now as we dig into your word, as we spend a couple minutes listening to your spirit speak to our hearts. Will you open us to receive and hear your truth? We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, James is saying that there is an earthly wisdom, a worldly wisdom. There's a way of thinking, a way of seeing things. It's been pervasive throughout all of history. There's a way that culture and the world thinks that is very different than the way that God's wisdom works. And we're exposed to this kind of culture all day long. More than ever with, with social media, with devices we carry in our pocket or in our purse that, that, that constantly feed us information with looping data that comes again and again and again, and we see the same images and hear the same things, we have to be careful who's shaping our worldview, how we see things. And, and so, so James says, now there's wisdom that's earthly, it's from, you know, kind, kind of from this world, and then it takes the next step, it's unspiritual, there's a wisdom that's not of God, it's unspiritual, and then he goes really deep, because, and it's demonic, it's hellish, it's, from, it's wisdom from the pit of hell. And there's a lot of thinking right now that's, that's so anti-God, and so we have to watch out for that. And then he says the result is disorder, if we follow the world's wisdom. And then he says this, every evil practice. It's like, you know, it's, it's like fill in the blank. Boom, 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 boom. All these things follow earthly wisdom. Here's my encouragement to you today. Would you just slow down this week and ask questions like this? Why do I think that? What shapes that attitude? Why do I view people or the world or myself that way? Is this heavenly, godly wisdom, or is this earthly, unspiritual, demonic, devilish wisdom? Where's it coming from? Watch yourself this week, what you're listening to, what you're looking at, and say, God, I want you to shape my worldview, how I see myself, others, how I see everything. God, grow me in wisdom and protect me from the wisdom of this world, which is so dangerous. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer today that we would actually this week notice when wisdom is coming our way that, that, is, that is maybe worldly and neutral or worldly and negative or just from the pit of hell, Lord. Would you show us that we may notice that and may we cut off this conduit of wisdom from the world and Lord, look to your word, to your spirit, to godly people and grow in wisdom that honors you. Jesus, thank you for rising from the dead, which we celebrated this last Sunday. Thank you for being alive today. Let us walk with you and in your wisdom this week, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings on you. We have services at Shoreline this week at 9 and 11, outdoors, indoors, family worship, and online. We'll see you Sunday.